and now representing Turkey, Alyssa Agafanova and Alpar Ukar. They were ninth at Grand Prix Russia last weekend. there on the second twizzle. Definitely will be down at least one level of difficulty. Not the way you want to start off your, your program, that's for sure. different variation on the free leg there in the three turn that is not something that is set. Musicality through their side by side non touch sequence. Unlike the first few teams that we saw, Alyssa and Alper have been together for several years. Yeah, this is their seventh season together, and that was a great performance for them. You know, that was that's really tough to make a, a mistake on your first element, but they did a nice job, recovered, put it out of her mind, and just went through, did a pretty strong performance there. I like their energy, I like the musicality of their, their non-touch step sequence. Their turns could be a little bit cleaner, their edges could be a little bit deeper, but nice flow, nice... Uh, they've been steadily increasing and, and building their, their strength and moving up in the world, I think the last several years at Worlds, they were 13th, 12th, 12th. Last year they were 11th, so they're moving up in the world and they're, they're putting in the work. Well, they are the first ice dance team to represent Turkey at the Olympics, 22nd in Sochi, and they did qualify a spot again for Turkey, so they should be headed to their second Olympics next February. Very exciting. Their coach, Pasquale Camalengo, also in the Detroit area. Not everyone gets these Grand Prix assignments, though, despite all of their years together. This is just their fifth Grand Prix. They had two assignments last year, eighth in Moscow and ninth at Skate America. So they're hoping for an improvement. Uh, Detroit Skating Club. 2017. Love you guys. And Britta, their, their trainer, Britta. Here's their rumba pattern dance. We need this to be so deep, deep, 
Step, step, sharp, stretch the leg. Here's where they start the Choctaw, deep inside edge. Don't come off of it onto, right onto an outside edge. He kind of went flat, then outside edge. Second Choctaw was pretty nice. And there's that kind of alternate free leg. Starting their non-touch step sequence. Little bit jumped on the counter, but really still keeping their their performance and their relationship going throughout as they're trying to do these difficult turns. Little change of edge on the bracket for him. Ooh, man, it's difficult to see in slow motion. Again, back Sorry, to guys. back Grand Prix. Yeah, really challenging to keep your energy up. You know, you have to be up at just full energy output for these, these performances. A lot of time zones from Moscow to zone. uh, Saskatchewan. 54.74, though, that is a season's best, better than they did last week. So they are headed in the right direction. They'll have the rest of the fall to work on that. Fourth place for now.